children i hope you all are doing fine welcome to our special english hour where we learn lots of new things and we also have fun while doing it now let's get ready to learn something new and also have fun are you all ready let's get started now you all know that we always begin our day with something fun and interesting so today i have a tongue twister for you we have done this tongue twister in our previous session as well so now let's try doing it once more are you all ready the tongue twister is upper roller lower roller i'll repeat upper roller lower roller let's try to say this five times faster upper roller lower roller upper roller oops i have said this before this tongue twister looks very simple but it's not i have still not been able to say this faster let's see if i can try doing this faster in our next session i request you all to also try saying this faster five times children do you like celebrating festivals i'm sure most of us love celebrating festivals it is a part of our culture and tradition can you name some of the festivals that are widely celebrated all over our country there are many festivals that we celebrate throughout the year but festivals like diwali holi eid christmas and many more are celebrated throughout the country apart from this we also have some festivals associated with farming because india is a country of farmers these festivals are celebrated during the farming season they may be known by different names in different parts of india but they are celebrated during the same time we have many festivals and we love celebrating them along with festivals there are many interesting things that happen we get to eat good food we wear good clothes and along with that we meet our family and friends these are all the good things that come with festivals but there are some cons or disadvantages too if you look closely festivals are not supposed to be the way they are celebrated today when i talk to my parents they always tell me that this is not how we celebrated these festivals take example of diwali every year we read in newspapers or we watch on television how much pollution is created in those 3 to 5 days that we celebrate diwali i'm sure you all must know about it it's not just diwali there are many festivals that harm our environment they create water pollution create sound pollution create air pollution and the true essence of festival is getting lost somewhere so taking this platform i would like to urge everyone who's watching me that we need to celebrate our festivals but we need to be very responsible about it we can have fun without crackers or harming our environment in any way the purpose of any festival is everyone coming together and spreading love and joy and that should be the core of any festival children you all know that it is very important for us to learn new words when we learn new words we are able to learn a language faster so now let's learn some new words 
from the lesson that we are going to read today. So I request you to please make a note of these words in your notebooks. Lantern 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 We light a lantern during festivals. Information 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 He got this information from the book. Delicious Delicious, delicious. My grandmother had prepared a delicious meal. Traditional, traditional, traditional. She was wearing a traditional outfit. Model, model, model. The model was made out of clay. Children, we learnt five new words today. Let's revise them. Traditional, delicious, model, lantern and information. I hope you remember these words and I hope that you have made a note of these words in your notebooks. Children, let's read a lesson from your Balbhati textbook. The name of the lesson is Eco-Friendly Celebrations. Please open page number 60 of your textbook. I will be reading this lesson and I request you to point at the words as I read them. And if you don't have a textbook, listen to me carefully. Main ye part aapke liye padhungi. Main chahti hu ki aap bhi apne books mein shabdo pe point kare. Aur agar aapke paas textbook na ho, so, aap mujhe dhyan se suniye. 25th September 2015 Pune Dear Atharva, I received your letter. Hey, first of all, congratulations. It's really amazing that you have celebrated eco-friendly Ganesh Utsav in America. Please write to me more about it. Children, this is a letter. The letter is dated 25th September 2015. This letter is written from Pune and this letter is addressed to someone named Atharva. So, the writer of this letter is saying something to Atharva. Firstly, he is congratulating Atharva on celebrating eco-friendly Ganesh Utsav in America. Do you know what eco-friendly means? Eco-friendly means something that is not harmful to our environment. So here Atharva had celebrated Ganesh Utsav in eco-friendly way. Ye ek letter likha gaya hai Atharva ko. Aur is letter mein jisne ye letter likha hai wo Atharva ko congratulate kar raha hai. Kyonki Atharva ne eco-friendly way mein Ganesh Utsav celebrate kiya. Here we are also planning to celebrate an eco-friendly Diwali. Are you surprised? Yes, we 
are actually planning a Diwali without crackers. Hmm. But of course, with delicious traditional snacks, mouth-watering chaklis, anarsas, karanjis and ladus. In this paragraph, the writer is talking about him and his family also celebrating Diwali in an eco-friendly way. Have you ever celebrated Diwali in an eco-friendly way? If not, I would suggest that we all should try to celebrate all our festivals in an eco-friendly way. The writer says that he and his family are going to celebrate Diwali without crackers. But even if we celebrate our festivals in an eco-friendly way, there are many things that we still can do and it cannot harm our environment. For example, the writer says that certain things will remain the same, which is food. He talks about the special dishes that are going to be prepared, which are chaklis, laddus, karanji and anarse. All of these are delicacies which are prepared during the festival of Diwali. To make up for the crackers, we are going to make a beautiful paper lantern at home. I am also going to make a model of Fort Raigad. I am collecting some pictures and a lot of information about Raigad. In this paragraph, the writer talks about how they are going to celebrate Diwali this year. The writer talks about making a paper lantern. Have y'all ever made paper lanterns? In my house, it is a tradition. 7 to 10 days before Diwali, me and my father sit together every day to make the lantern. It takes a lot of effort and hard work. But when you see the lantern placed outside the window and lit in the evening, it automatically brings a smile on your face. So this is one of the things that is very traditional and we always do during Diwali. And just like that, the writer is also going to make a paper lantern. Further, writer talks about building a model of Raigad Fort. Have you all heard of Raigad Fort? I am sure you all must have heard about it and learnt about it in your history classes. So here, the writer is going to build a model of Raigad Fort. I am not sure if you know this, but this is a tradition of Maharashtra. My father used to tell me that when he was young, there used to be competitions of building forts. And whoever made the best model used to win this competition. Doesn't it sound interesting? I have never made it, but I would like to make a model once. When are you planning to come to India? We are all waiting to meet you. Remember bro, we are not just cousins. We are friends too. I always love to read your letters. Atharva, I have heard a lot about Thanksgiving and Halloween in the US. I am really curious to know more about them. Please do write to me. Convey my regards to Kaka and Kaku. Love to dear Ojas. Yours lovingly, Sharva. In the last two paragraphs of the letter, the writer is asking a few questions to Atharva. He first asks him as to when is he coming to India. Next, he asks, for a little information about Thanksgiving 
and Halloween. Do you know what these two are? These are festivals that are celebrated in the United States of America. So, the writer wants to know more about this from Atharva because Atharva lives in the US. In the final line of the letter, the writer is giving his love and regards to Atharva and his family which is his uncle, his aunt and his cousin brother. Children, I hope you enjoyed today's session. Today, we learned a wonderful lesson about how to celebrate festivals in an eco-friendly way and why it is important to do so. Now, it's time for you to sit back and relax while I tell you a wonderful story. The name of the story is Happy Holi and it's written by Pahi Srivastava. It is early in the morning and Sheila is sleeping. Her brother Ramu comes to her and he tries to wake her up. Sheila is very irritated. She is very sleepy and she wants to sleep. But Ramu doesn't let her sleep. He wakes her up. And Sheila gets irritated. And she asks him, Am I the only one you find to wake up in the morning? But Ramu has something interesting that he wants to show to Sheila. He tells her that the street outside is filled with people and flowers. There are all kinds of people on the street. Ramu apni behen Sheila ko subay subay jaga deta hai. Sheila bohat neend mein hoti hai aur usse jagna nahi hota. Lekin Ramu usse kuch dikhana chahta hai. Wo usse kehta hai ki puri sadak भर गई है पूरी सड़क लोगों से और फूलों से भर चुकी है शीला वॉज वंडरिंग सो शी कॉट अप फ्रॉम हर बेड एंड रश टू द विंडो एंड शी सॉ वॉट रामू वॉज से वॉज ट्रू एंड शी स्टार्टेड वंडरिंग Why was the street filled with people and why was it so colorful She looked at the calendar and she realized it was holy and Ramu too took a second to realize that yes it was holy indeed and then both of them had an amazing idea They decided to go to Shamlal uncle's sweet shop to buy sweets for what so that they could celebrate holi sheela uthke khidki ke paas jati hai aur wo ye dekhti hai ki sadak pe log aur bahut rang chhaye hue hai wo ye sochne lagti hai ki itne sare log sadak par kya kar rahe hai aur tab उसकी नजर दीवार पर टंगे हुए कैलेंडर के पास जाती है और उसे ये एहसास होता है कि आज होली का दिन है रामू को भी इस बात का एहसास होता है तब वो दोनों श्यामलाल जी के मिठाई के दुकान में जाने का निश्चय करते हैं Ramu and Sheila rushed to the sweet shop. They ordered 5 dozen moti chur laddus and they told the shopkeeper that their mother will pay him as soon as the celebrations are over. Next, they rushed to the river bank where all of their friends are celebrating. They see all their friends already had started playing they offer them sweets 
and then both Ramu and Sheila go to play Holi. Ramu and Sheila bhaag bhaag ke mitai ki dukaan mein jate hai. Vahaan wo laddu kharitte hai aur phir apne dosto ke saath Holi khelne ke liye chale jate hai. Unke dost nadi ke nare Holi khel rahe hote hai. Ramu and Sheila were playing with pitkaris, water balloons and of course colors. They love playing holi. They wanted to play holi with their amma. But they could not do it because she was scared of water. They tried very hard that they should persuade amma to come and play holi. But they knew that it was not possible. Just then, Sheila thought of an idea. She rushed through the crowd and decided to go get her amma. But what she saw shocked her. She saw her amma coming towards them with a sack of pitchkaris. Sheila or Ramu बहुत सारे चीजों से होली खेल रहे थे उन्होंने कभी गुब्बारों से खेली कभी रंगों से खेली तो कभी पिचकारियों से खेली लेकिन उनको अपनी अम्मा के साथ होली खेलनी थी लेकिन उनकी अम्मा को पानी से डर लगता था तो वो उनके साथ होली नहीं खेलती थी शीला ने ये डिसाइड किया कि वो होली खेलने अम्मा को बुलाएगी शीला अपने घर जा ही रही होती है तब वो ये देखती है कि उनकी अम्मा उनके तरफ होली खेलने के लिए आ रही होती है आई वुड लाइक टू टेक योर लीव आई विल सी यू इन आवर नेक्स्ट सेशन अंटिल देन टेक केयर एंड स्टे सेफ बाय Thank you.